back on the right track and then this is like home and I was saying to Christine yeah. a couple of days ago like this is our fort this is our place right. and just the energy walking out opening the door and being here and what we tell people like we're like I'm from London was born in London and and now I'm like right here in the core and put some more roots down yeah I, I love that about you you kind of have been brought up in London you're the you're the typical like gone to Western done the frat thing Still go to the bars from time to time. Probably spent too much time in the bars at one point. Sometimes. But you still, you know, you still love it here. You're on Richmond Row, and, and you're still doing your thing. Because when we do go out on the town, it's like you know all these people, right? It's yeah. like going to a party. Yeah, like sure. a backyard party with people that you've known for years. That is the nice thing about London, isn't it? Yeah. Is that feeling. Yeah. And then there are a lot of people. People are getting divorced. They're going out a little... More and more people are getting separated. And then they are going out. What do they do? They're going to sit at home and do yeah. all over it. And they are getting out. And it'd be nice if there was more places to go for certain... Like for like the age group. like Right. For the older generations that are going... Christians, you open up the place next door here. It's going to go for that kind of a market. Which will be nice. Perfect. Where yeah. you can go and be a little more relaxed instead of like being in a place full of like either really young or really old or whatever but it's nice to have a blend of things where you can just go and interact and talk business or stuff like that mm-hmm. things that people like to talk about yeah. and being able to talk well good for you man I think that in, in just quickly before because you mentioned these people that are getting divorces what's your advice to them like anybody that's going through what you like to go through life doesn't you? end with a divorce it's the beginning and um, you can try it if you if you still have contact with your ex and stuff because of kids and stuff, it doesn't have to be bad. You can make it good. Think of the kids, and then at some point, like everybody can get along together and work together for a common right. goal. So it's not the end of the world. It's I not mean, the end of the world. And socially, you can go out. There's restaurants and so many different things. You'll run into friends that you haven't seen from like years before because a lot of people right. they get married and they they lose that side of themselves because they go, oh, "I'm married now. I don't go out. I just." go to golf or go watch a hockey game, but you can still kind of go out and do other things and uh, interact with these people and run into people you haven't seen in years. Right. And it's nice to catch up too. 100%. Um, and would you say going back in time, um, just quickly before we wrap up here, would you say that there were some things like when you handled that divorce, did you ever say things that you regret saying about your your ex at the yes, time? Yes, of course. And I yeah. feel bad, but the anger takes over or the um, feeling embarrassed kind of stuff like your ego gets in the way a little bit yeah, too. Yeah, things happen. And then, uh, and, you, and you just make accusations, not accusations, but you just blame other people where you, you got to stop blaming other people sure. and just look at yourself. Look at yourself and, first yeah. and own your shit. Yeah. And that's what this is about. So I appreciate you coming on here and doing it, man. Yeah, no so thank you so much. Thank Ladies and gentlemen, yeah, Chris, this was a big step for Chris because, you know, he owns a couple businesses in the city and getting into things like relationships can be a little risky, right? Yeah. But... At the same time, I hope that you know him better. You know that he's a great guy. Um, at the end of the day, sometimes. sometimes. Well, whatever. I get a kick out of you regardless. So <laughs> if you know how to handle him, he's always a great guy. Um, so let's just say this. Contest, again, we're going to be finishing that contest on Friday. I'll make sure that uh, we get on that and we announce the winner on Friday evening. So remember what I told you. Like the podcast. Like the page. And we'll reach out to you. We'll get your name that way. And uh, I guess that's it for this evening. So if you're another business in London, Ontario, and you want to do something like Chris has done here, if you have the balls to do it, then by uh, it wasn't by, so hard. It, it wasn't, wasn't so hard. I was nervous. I, was, I didn't know what to expect at first, but uh, you were a little nervous. I could tell. It took me a little while well, to cry. I know him. you. Yeah, I know. yeah. <laughs> but I'm not asking the sexual questions. I could get into that, but I did. Thanks. But we're yeah, we're keeping yeah. this a little more professional tonight. So thank you for that. Yeah. Uh, when it comes to mental health, before we go. What would you give advice to, I mean, you've already talked about the mindset that you need as opening a business. Anyone that's just struggling, when you feel anxiety, we're just talking about people here. When you feel anxiety, if, or if you ever felt depression coming on, or when you were in that, the worst state of your life, which I'm assuming was probably around that divorce time. There's that. I had friends that passed away. And friends and that I passed away. I just had away. a recent one just last week too, which yeah. was a, a little difficult. And um, just when you think it's really bad, there's always another day and you just gotta just give it a bit of a breather go for a walk a hike or something um and just think of the good things that are in your life and not just the bad, bad moment sure so things to be grateful for yeah the gratitude mindset I love it 
All right, guys. Well, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you um, either tomorrow or Wednesday for our Quick Wednesday. But that's it for Mental Health and Motivational Monday. We hope you're motivated in the business uh, world here, I guess in the business life in London, Ontario. All right, so we'll talk to you soon.